Do you just jig that? Is that that? No, I've got a lot of shrimp on there. Oh, okay. Got it on a mission fish. Oh, that's a good fish right there. I don't know what that is, dude. What is up, guys, and thanks for tuning in to Vitamin D TV. I'm Vitamin D, and today we're here with a special guest. Actually, I might be his guest, considering I'm on his boat. But this is Ron from Crossroads Media, a.k.a. Cameraman Ron. Cameraman Ron. So check this out. Ron hit me up, he saw my Facebook post. I was like, man, I'm off all week. I don't have anything to do. He hit me up in the comment section and said, let's go fishing. And here we are, we're on his boat, leaving out of, what is this, Bayou Chico? Bayou Chico, yeah. Bayou Chico. And uh, we came up with a quick plan to just go hit the three mile bridge. The conditions look really nice. And we're probably gonna get on some sheep's head, maybe some redfish, and maybe one of those bridge monsters, black drum. So. Uh, you guys hang out and also I'm going to be announcing that giveaway winner of $100 guys. Somebody already won it. I'll tell you later on. Let's go fishing and let's get to it. Let's go. guys we have just got to the spot Ron said this is his spot right here so uh, we're somewhere in the middle and uh, these guys are hard at it putting our bridge back together that they destroyed <laughs> so uh, and they're charging a, us double to put back together yeah so there's a lot of new construction which I'm pleased with but uh, yeah we're gonna get some baits out we got us a game plan and we're gonna try and get on some sheep's head as well as uh maybe a redfish or black drum with these big rigs so uh you guys stay tuned and we're gonna get on them let's go all right guys we're using live shrimp today seems like everybody as soon as they get live fiddler crabs people just buy them up because the sheep's head are in season they are running let's see if we can get a line over here i'm guessing they got in ten thousand fiddler crabs at about 12.30 on Wednesday, it's about one o'clock that we're gone. Wow. Just a little pitch over there. Oh, lost him, huh? I knew it, I knew it. I just did not get a good hook set on it when I started, I knew. Hey, at, least we, at least we know they're down there. At least we know they're there, I'll take that much. All right, got a little bit of current. Guys, right there. Ron's getting bit. Just pecking. I don't know if they're just small or what. Yeah. Those sheep's head, man, they're magicians. He could have stole your bait that quick. Oh, drop your bait down real close to it. They feed off the barn. Oh, he's got a bite. There we go. There yep. on. Fish on. Good job. It's something small. Let's see. We got a, we got a white trout, it looks like. Oh, that's a bait right there. White trout. First fish of the day. You want to keep him for bait? Yeah. All right. All right. Ron's going to use this guy for bait here in a second. You want him in the cooler or just on the deck? Okay. All right. Fish number one. And Ron's on. Oh, he's running out. This is going to be something small. Probably another white trout. Yep. Another white trout. That's okay though, I'm not mad about that. These guys make excellent cut bait right here for some big bull reds. So you guys know, the closer you get to that pile and the better it is for sheep's head because they're just sitting face up on those, sh those pilings and they're just crunching away at those barnacles and things. And really the best bait is fiddler crabs, but again, we didn't have any fiddlers. There's a nice hit right there. Let's see what we got. Uh, man uh, mangrove. mangrove. That's a good mangrove That's right there. That's a good looking mangrove right yeah, there. Yeah, he is. There we go, guys. A nice mangrove snapper. He's legal, but Ron said he's good. He doesn't want to keep mangroves, so we're going to let him go. And he's off. 
I got a couple waters. But I appreciate it. I might get one of those Gatorades. Who knows? We're going to try this side real quick just to see what's going on. And I know we're far off of the pylons, but I'm going to get another flip out there. We got a fairly decent sized shrimp. One thing I do know is more reds for some reason hang out on this side other than the new bridge side. Just from my experience and what I've seen. So I'm going to flip right over here. It seems like more people just catch reds off of this side over here. I'm going to drop this guy all the way to the bottom and see if a big red or something will pick him up. And I don't have too much stopping power with this real this rod and reel setup because this is only about 15 pound test. But we'll do what we can to try and stop a nice red. Look at here, guys. That's remnants of uh, old Brant Peacher right there. <laughs> he loves using these little twitch baits, jerk bait, whatever you want to call it. Little swim jig. And they work. He makes them work. Nothing so far. Let's see if we can flip it right here. Sending it straight to the bottom. What happened? Well, because we own a business, we didn't want anybody out of it. Am I on? Yeah, are you? I'm definitely on. Deep? Oh, oh, man. Oh, no. no. What, what? A heartbreak. Dude. Did he break you off? Yeah, I had no idea I was on. I, I was just letting line out. It must have hit it on the way down. Wow. You know what that tells me? Something's over there. Yeah, definitely. But we have beefed up our setup because we just got broken off. Uh, we're going to flip right back to where I got bit off at. All right, broke off at. And we're going to drop it straight back down. Do the same thing we did. Okay, we're on bottom. Last time we were on bottom. We just didn't know it because the line just kept going and going. And uh, we're going to try and muscle out whatever it is down there. There's a hit. There's a hit. Whatever that was, he did a number on that shrimp. Let's come back to this side. Still some of Ron's fish. Go for it. <laughs> I can't do nothing with them. Just come up a crank or two. I almost looks like they put another layer of concrete on the bottom of it because they're working on it. With a lot of them, look like it, so it might not be it. Alright, guys, new set of pollens. We're gonna see what happens here. Check this out, guys. Ron's doing all this from the remote back there. It's gonna push us a little bit closer. Good old trusty Minn Kota remote. <laughs> this guy's awesome. And Beast Bone was standing right off of it. And I'm like, I went to say something and I was like, nah, never mind. Yeah. I'm just gonna let this one go because this is gonna be too good on film. And it was. It was everything I hoped it was. There you go. Oh man. No, they are just not keeping it. Dude. All right, we may have found something. And I don't want to speak too soon. But I've been getting some decent hits. All right, guys, last and final spot. Uh, we're out here on one of Ron's special numbers. And we're going to see if we can't pull up some snapper or maybe even a grouper or two. Just kind of end the day out with that. So let's see if we can't get you guys on some fish for this video. Let's go.
There's something. Oh, wow. Came right off, but he took it. Like, he took it. So these snapper are aggressive. Let's go with a slightly larger shrimp. <laughs> Let's drop it on down, see what happens. Yeah, that fish hit. I mean, he took it. We're on bottom, I think. Yeah, I'm getting bumps. Yeah. So these should be rat red snappers, yep. Just like Ron said. Nice and healthy little red snapper. Let's let him go, cause they're out of season and this guy's way too small, guys. So let's let him go. And he's going straight back down to the bottom. Nice little fight. Yeah, like you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I have. There's a fish. It's gonna be another snapper. Oh, mangrove! Another mangrove. Another healthy mangrove. Here you go, guys. A nice mangrove snapper. He might be legal as well, but we're not keeping, so gonna let him go. <laughs> yeah, it's like they know. Like, oh, he can't do nothing with us. That's funny. All right. Do you just jig that? Is that that? No, I've got a lot of shrimp on there. Oh, okay. Got it on a mission fish. Oh, that's a good fish right there. I don't know what that is, dude. Oh, he would pull. He would pull. Dude. Finally. I don't know what that fish. was, man. Come on. Gosh. Something doesn't want me to land a, a good fish. Second really good hookup Yeah. Fight it for like seven seconds and then it's over. Come on now, let's 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 get it in gear here. Let's make something happen. I don't either. That fish started digging. That fish had other plans than coming in this boat. They're biting way better here. Yeah. All right, big shrimp going down, big shrimp. Big thump, that's a, that's a nice fish. Getting D. I don't know what this is, brother. Let me walk your way. Can you get that rod? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No! Oh my God, dude! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? What's happening? I don't know. I think he took me into the wreck, honestly. That guy did. Oh my God. That fish. That was good. That, that was that, that was. was a good fish. That might have been our grouper right there. Dude. That might have been our grouper. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Ron's gonna talk about this trip forever, how he took me fishing and I missed every single big fish that I hooked. <laughs> I got some fishing line on my head. I never. God. I feel like I owe you a good fish or something. Like Every single hey, big fish has come off trip. today. I owe you a big, I owe you a big fish, man. Let's see if we can get something in the boat. Man. See, I could just see tail movements. It was like, whoa, my rod was like. <laughs> it's like, nope, not the Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. So we figured it out that uh, when you hook, when you when you fish with your big setup, they don't, they don't bother it. But when you're not prepared and you're fishing with some something light, then they're all over it. Let's see what happens here. There's big fish down there. See, I feel like I would have gotten bit by now. 
with the other rod. Uh, let's come up just a couple cranks. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now they won't even touch it. Small bites right there. I'm not looking for those. Another mangrove. Healthy, healthy. That's like four or five? Yeah. Healthy oh. guys. That's, that's gotta be it right there. Go. All right, go get me, go get me the granddaddy. We're both fishing with big shrimp now. Trying to pull up that one monster. What'd you call it? The kicker fish? The, the hero fish. The hero fish. The hero fish. That's the, that's the fish that saves the day. The hero. There he is. There he is. Look. Stay out of the structure, baby. Stay out of the oh structure. Oh my God, look at that rod bending. Let me get out of your way. Do your thing, bro. Is he in there? I think he's got in there. In keep, the keep a little bit of pressure on him. Don't pull too hard. Don't break yourself off. I think that's what happened to my fish. Now that he's definitely in there, you can probably give him a little slack. Don't pull too hard. And then uh, get back on him. Get back on him tight. Gone. He's gone, gone? Oh, no. What is happening to oh us right my now? God. What is happening to us for real right we now? We might be cursed or something. I really don't know what's going on. Dude, that's three times we've oh looked. Like, that's God. not... A small fish we're hooking here. Yeah, like I've lost three or four big fish and he just lost a nice, nice fish. I don't know what's going on today. <sighs> All we can do is keep trying. That thing was a stud. Yeah, it was. That rod, dude, that rod was bent to the max. I thought either your line was gonna break or that rod was gonna break. Was to that fish was kick in. So there must be a lot of stuff to get hung up in down there. Yeah, we're right up over the wreck, so the first thing those fish are going to do when they get hooked up, they're going to just run straight down into it, try and run to safety. So far, it's working. It's working for sure. Beautiful sunset out there. That's there you not go. as good of a fish, but it's a fish. Yeah, it's just going to be one of those rat red snappers. Is it? Yeah. Okay, yeah. A little rat red. And I'm hooked up. Oh, dude! No! Oh my what is God! He took my whole leader. That must have been a bad tie right there. There's See, there's, there's no numerous doubt. big fish down there. Because we've hooked up on some big fish and just are not having a lot of luck at getting them up out of the structure before they get us. Really Come on them. now! Like I got the. This rod is for deep sea fishing, jigging. This is a jigging rod yeah. for amberjack. That's just gonna be a snapper. Yeah. Yeah, it was funny. All of like the people. I was actually shocked that he sold it, but I, I, I thought to myself, okay, it's got to be for good reason. Pull the bag on. Get him, Dean. Don't let him get you in a structure. Look at how this thing is fighting, dude. Oh, we finally got him broke loose from the structure right there, I think. I think he got me in the structure. What it's is crazy that these guys know just where to run? Oh my god, dude. I don't get it. Like, I don't see how they can get you. What the is going on? That fast. God, they like run straight into it. And he's off. Dude, I had good pressure on him and everything. 
As if the day couldn't get better. Right? <laughs> How's it going? Not uh, bad. A lot of fish that seem smarter than we are. They are. Yes, sir. Yes, no, it's my trout. White trout. I, I threw the head over. Oh, did you? But it's definitely white no, trout. It is white trout. Yes, sir. He's like, ah, got your you. name on it. Okay. Silly stuff comes up because my computer's not perfect. Okay. That's all up to some lady at the DMV type stuff in and they make mistakes. Too, okay. So. Didn't realize I was supposed to have it. So. And there's my license. <laughs> Vitamin DTV. Yeah. Vitamin DTV. That's a, that's a like, catchy name, man. I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, we've caught, so I'm guessing it's either big redfish or black drum because that one, he hooked one that didn't take us straight into the structure and he fought it for what, like 30 seconds? Yeah. No, we appreciate you out here checking people. Don't bother me at all, man. Yeah. All right, guys, we got pulled over by the game warden. Actually, we didn't get pulled over because we were already we stopped. Just got checked. Yeah. We got checked. And uh, the guy was pretty cool, so I'm sure he's gonna watch this. He got both of our channel names just to kind of go and check out the uh, content that we're putting out. But the biggest thing to remember that, and I tell people this all the time that come down and fish with me, if, if FWC ever rolls up on you, keep in mind they really are here for us. Like they're they're protecting our right to fish because there are people out here doing things they're not supposed to be doing, and when they do that, it affects the fish population and it affects us all. So. It sucks to have to take, you know, 10 or 15 minutes to get checked, but at the end of the day, they really are out here for our safety and for that. So, I mean, I don't, I don't mind those guys at all. And, and what I want to say, guys, is that they're not checking you to be douchebags or they're not trying to be mean to you. They're doing their job. So they have to enforce the law. They have to make sure people are being safe, got their life jackets, got all the things that they need to be out on the water. And if you get in trouble, you're safe about it. So um you know it, it, it is what it is you know they have a job to do just like you guys do and uh they don't want to have to give you fines and tickets but if you're breaking the law they have to go by the law just like everyone else yeah know your rules i mean that's the biggest thing know your safety rules and you need to do that for your safety anyways i mean this is my boat and if i didn't know the rules and do safety stuff and i brought d out here I'd be doing him a huge disservice by putting his safety at, my, at risk because of my negligence. So exactly. Just follow the rules. And 90% of those guys are super respectful. I mean, that dude yeah. is awesome. Yeah. You, you nice to them, they'll be nice to you. 90% of the time. Exactly. Well, anyways, uh, I don't know. Should, should I hang it up right here? We're going to... Uh, I say drop one more. Drop one more? I say drop one more. All right. Let me get a hook tied on. I just had a big fish break me off again. And uh, we're gonna see if we can't maybe land one of these big sea monsters that's down there that keeps breaking us off. So, ooh, it is bright out here. All right, guys, so as you can see, it got dark on us right there during that fishing trip. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed or are enjoying your holidays. It is the Christmas time right now and uh, it is the season for giving. So uh, like I said, I was giving out $100 in that last video. It was a giveaway for the person to guess a number one through 1000 in my last video in the comment sections below. And uh, it was the second day and this person actually found the number that was inside of my head and uh, he commented it down below. He liked, he subscribed, and I just want to thank you. So, uh, Lloyd Polk, I appreciate you for playing. I appreciate you for subscribing. I appreciate you for watching and doing all the things that you needed to do to enter the giveaway. So, if you will, get with me in the comment sections, or you can uh, email me at the email that is linked in the description below, and uh, we'll see about getting you either that $100 cash or a gift card if you're not local here for me to drop it off to you. So uh, yeah, guys, I appreciate each and every one of you guys watching as usual. And uh, if you wanna do me a solid, go ahead and like this video. And we got more giveaways coming, guys. We're giving out hard cash on this channel. And uh, I just think that's something that anybody can enjoy. Go out, get whatever you want. Doesn't have to be fishing related or whatever. So. Uh, Thanks for everybody supporting the channel. The channel is constantly growing, and uh, yeah, we're doing it for Pensacola, baby. So anyways, guys, enjoy your holiday, and uh, we're going to keep that content coming for you guys. Anyways, I'm Vitamin D for Vitamin D TV, and I'm out. Oh, and by the way, that number was 777. Thanks, guys.